steroid diabetes steroid diabetes prolonged hyperglycemia due to glucocorticoid eg prednisolone dexamethasone therapy for another medical condition corticosteroids are used to reduce harmful inflammation but can lead to diabetes People on steroids who are already at a higher risk of type 2 diabetes are those who need to take steroids for longer periods of time are the most susceptible to developing steroid-induced diabetes. When prescribed in doses that exceed your body's usual levels, corticosteroids suppress inflammation. This can reduce the signs and symptoms of inflammatory conditions, such as arthritis asthma, and autoimmune diseases. Glucocorticoids pose insulin action and stimulate gluconeogenesis, especially in the liver, resulting in a net increase in hepatic glucose output. Most people can produce enough extra insulin to compensate for this effect and maintain normal glucose levels, but those who cannot develop steroid or diabetes Treatment depends on the severity of the hyperglycemia and the estimated duration of the steroid treatment, and decide to discontinue glucocorticoid or use insulin.